Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your new moon energy love reading for June 13th through the 27th of the month. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Gemini in this new moon energy? Okay, your first card out, the High Priestess. Somebody's keeping secrets and you have a gut feeling that um, that they're hiding something. You're ready to um, you're ready to turn your back because you know something's not right. Oops. Yeah, you are coming out of a you're coming out of a fog. Let's just I'm gonna get the rest of your cards out for you guys quick. so I can get the whole story. Okay. Bottom of your deck is the devil. So, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but um, there's more of a codependency on something here. Um, overindulgence of something. Obsessed. Somebody's obsessed with this relationship. And you're just really confused. But you're coming out of a time of confusion. Um, you're confused because they were putting so much in your head that you didn't know what was true and what was not because they were keeping secrets. Yeah. Okay. So you had a gut feeling that this was going on anyways. Your intuition was screaming at you to listen, that there were secrets being kept from you. You knew something wasn't right. You knew they were off. Um, so you've been slowly just turning your back. Um, you know, you have here the the, ele the opposite elements, earth and fire. Um, you guys, like, were the yin and yang to each other. Yeah. Yeah, you are being awakened, actually. You're, you're coming to clarity because you're being awakened. And you're going to move forward. You're going to move on single and move towards a more guided, uh, divinely guided relationship. Yeah, for sure. They're coming forward and telling you the truth. Very quick, very hasty. Um, they're going to come in and honestly tell you how they feel. Um, now, this person is not the person that you are with is what I'm getting. This is somebody else. Um that has sparked your interest they're coming in and they're revealing their feelings for you um, with the wheel of fortune you are going to um, you're going to experience good karma from this you're you're meant to be with this person coming in they are very passionate very hard-working very goal-oriented and very stable um, they work hard and they're working hard at getting your attention. You're just not noticing them right now for some reason. Um, because you're busy with the relationship you're currently in. Trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But you're, you're going to be awakened. The truth is going to come to you. You're going to come out of this fog. And you're going to move forward. And you're going to find this person. <clears throat> it is destined for you to, to follow this journey. So you don't even have to worry about it. You'll be guided to do it. And I was just saying you'll... It's destined. The sun. Here's that wheel of fortune. In this deck, it has the wheel. Um, and it's turning. Destiny, fate, your good karma. The wheel is turning and the sun and the universe is guiding you in the direction that you're meant to go. The nine of pentacles. You're meant to be single right now. You are guided to... Work on yourself and, um, yeah, and become stable yourself to not rely on somebody, to not be codependent on anybody. And the King of Cups will come in for you when you have, when you have attained that, um, that benchmark, being able to provide for yourself, being able to be complete without somebody having to complete you. And in that will come the Ten of Pentacles. Amazing. 
blessed by the universe, um, given the ultimate gifts. Um, yeah, this is a definite air sign. Oops, definite air sign coming in. You got the Knight of Swords twice. This is somebody that's going to come in very quick for you. Very matter of factly, here I am. Um, come be with me. It's going to bring you out of a time where you have been really stressed out and full of anxiety. And they're going to make a, a love offer. It might not be much at first, but it's something. And you're being called to take them up on that. It's honest, though. It's true. This is true love. It's not someone that's going to hurt you. But they're going to come in very fast because the universe is sending them to you. And, you know, you'll get the Ten of Pentacles. Um, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. I am hearing that you will meet this person. We have in America, we have the 4th of July coming up. You're going to meet this person in the next two weeks. Um, over a holiday. Um, if not, you are going to be taking a trip with this person. Yeah, for a group of you, you're taking a trip together. Um, and look at that. The bottom of your clarifying deck is the star. When the stars align, everything is going to come come full circle for you. Um, they are trying to get, the universe is getting you in the path that you need to take right now. You know, things are happening, but it's being guided by the sun. So overall, you need to clear the energy that you have around you right now. Release um, from that past relationship or the relationship you're currently in and move forward. You're going to meet this soulmate in the time of cancer over the holiday, so July. Um, and you're going to move forward towards this person. And this is the person you will spend the rest of your life with, who you're meeting in the next two weeks um, over the holiday or... Just in the next two weeks, your um, divine partner, your soulmate, your whatever you want to call it, your life partner, the person you'll spend the rest of forever with, they are coming in to, to you. So make sure you're ready. Make sure you're released. Make sure you're um, cleared your energy and just let those blessings flow. So I hope you have a beautiful couple weeks, Gemini, and I will see you next time. God bless.